welcome back to NASCAR Racing. We're we're back indeed, and uh, yeah, a bit of a weird weird time. Welcome, chat. Weird time for for a stream a bit early, but I plan to do other things this evening. So that's the schedule today. Hopefully, we'll get at least some viewers, especially for for people in in. North America and South America it's it's a pretty uh, poor poor timing but uh, I what can you do a uh, ball bang is back Let, let's continue our our championship season continue uh, Steve you crazy person uh, awake at 5 a.m. hello Robbie hello Lahuste hello alphabet cat Welcome, uh, welcome everybody. We're headed to Bristol today. These are the championship standings. The American cousin of Friedrich Bang, Bob Bang, currently tenth in in the in the um, uh, standings. Hamilton, Bodine, uh, in in the in the top. Uh, top of the the standings yeah uh, I'm also a little bit tired I also have a very slight hangover because of all the new year stuff and everything and yesterday it was my birthday actually so like <coughs> I am uh, I might be a little bit little little, little bit uh, like uh, out of it today but we'll see how this goes let's slow down set up bang there we go. And yeah, Bristol, 500 laps, 1,000 left turns today. This is absolutely mad. Uh, crazy, crazy stuff. I'll do a few practice laps to make sure everything works all right. Hopefully the sound, sound is all right. Accidentally speed it in the pits, but I forgive myself. You don't get any penalties if you do it in practice. Yeah, uh, the cars should be very competitive. Uh, you usually in here you're always competitive in in race pace because there's a lot of lots of traffic. And uh, the AI is really not too good uh, when when dealing with with traffic. So so yeah, uh, I I've been asked asked about the setups that I use quite a bit, and um, in in NASCAR racing, and I'll. Put a link in the video description later, so if you want to try out my setups, uh, you'll find them on my website. They're they're not there yet, but I'll try to remember to upload them at some point. Seems to I'm over revving the engine a little bit here. Let's see about the standings. The car itself it's very competitive, but the most important thing on this track is just like focus on the tire wear especially if, if you're doing a long race because that's a really really big big factor thank you Robbie thank you Steve to have birthday on January 1st must have been great when you're under 20 well kinda but usually like my classmates and people that they just asked me to like buy them booze and stuff <laughs> not, not the greatest thing and also other uh, like my friends weren't old enough to go to a bar so like I didn't have a lot of friends that were older than me so I, I didn't like start immediately when I turned 18 to go into in the par bars by myself I think I just caused a massive crash. I'm not concentrating on the driving. Let's go to the qualifying. The car is fine. Uh, let's make sure we have the right setup done. Let's remove some fuel. 
there we go and um, yeah if you want to check out the set setup don't remember if I even did anything to the to the to these pretty much like spoiler I didn't do anything uh, gross weight this this was an important one this I uh, I uh, lowered quite a bit and that really made it made the difference with the with the tires and all we lock at 30 and that's the gearing let's go as I said the car the car should be pretty pretty competitive but we'll see how the qualifying goes 55 miles speed limit that doesn't apply for the qualifying but I'll still obey it it's going to be hard with the gold tires let's see if we nail the lap, we, we might get a pole here, but we'll see. First turn was alright. Oh, went wide. I think it's a decent lap. Well, uh, not as good as I hoped. P10. Yes, P10 for poor Bang. Uh, next session, next session. Let's load our setup and let's get ready for the race. We have the luxury today to be extremely cautious and patient because it's such a long race. Uh, in theory, the laps would go very, very quickly, but we are going to spend a lot of time behind the pace car in this one so because there are going to be a lot of crashes <coughs> so it, it'll be a long race hello Ron welcome to the chat let's go and the, the goal is to survive that's the only goal fortunately we have to start from the outside so that's not optimal let's try to get get on the low line as soon as possible nascar endurance indeed let's get ready for the green flag no heroics easy does it a lot of positions before we get to the okay now we can get to the inside lane careful with the cold tires we dropped to the 13th that's all right With a clean race, this will be a win for sure, but something tells me it's not going to be a clean race. Something is going to happen, something bad at some point. Stay low. Oh man. Don't, not that low. Oh dear. That's bad. Bob bang! Having a hard time. And already we have the first caution. Pete is closed. <laughs> okay, that didn't take long. Ah, oh, don't rear end, rear end anyone. Oh man. Good luck. Don't read the chats. Yes, sir. take me a little bit of time to collect myself here I haven't done any laps today so I'm completely like out of practice I practiced like a week ago 
for this race. So, well, I, I think we have plenty of time to get in the rhythm here. Somebody went in, in already. I think. No need to beat yet. In my opinion. Time for a cup of tea. <laughs> I'd love to have some coffee. I didn't have time to have my lunch coffee and uh, I'm very tired. Hello, Alphabet Cat, welcome. Also, I have a slightly sore arm. I don't know what's going on with that, so hopefully. I can make it through the race. But yeah, yeah, not not a great start. We qualified tenth and and uh, dropped to eighteenth because of stupidity. Thank you, Steve, for the coffee. Unfortunately, I don't have Red Bull. I actually don't really drink energy drinks at all. Only beer. <laughs> A little bit too much beer during this weekend and wine and stuff and... That's why I'm a bit... I, I, can't, I can't speak English, for instance. That's like I've destroyed some of my brain cells so that's bad I don't know if they'll grow back are the engine sounds all right I mean this game is super loud one lap until green finally that was a long caution I don't know what happened let's see No one is a lap down yet. Oops. Concentrate. Okay. And green, green, green. Here we go. And the tires will be very cold once again, so I have to be extra care careful. Very easy to lose the rear. If you're not careful. Now just patience. Patience, patience, patience. Only 490 laps to go. Not a good run, that's a pass. Another pass. P16. The thing is, like 9 times out of 10, well, maybe 19 times out of 20, the AI drivers behave themselves very well. But then, sometimes they suddenly do something stupid. And that's usually bad. Okay, we're moving up. 14th. I have to give them the space. But why I love love these long long races is because you can be patient. If you do some sprint racing, short races, then you're kind of you have to make moves quite quickly. And it's a bit risky, obviously. Okay, a couple of positions. Bob bang. 
moving up. Okay, this is a bit dangerous. Let's just take it easy. I I have the AI set on 100% difficulty. Seems, seems to be pretty balanced. On some tracks, it just takes more time for you to set up the car to be, be competitive. For this one, it was relatively easy. Just a little change to the weight distribution and the car was instantly very competitive. In Darlington, I really had to work, work quite a bit to get the setup right. Laps, they go very quickly, as long as it's green, but I'm trying to not to cause a lot of incidents in this race. You're right, Steve. This is this is such an ad advanced sim, and I'm just so astounded how well you feel how the car behaves, even with with no force feedback or or anything. You you know that you're losing the rear before you lose the rear. It's 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 just amazing. Okay, here comes the traffic now. In, in pure pace, the AI is, is very competitive here, but then when we hit the traffic, the, they don't really do a very good job. So it's pretty easy to be very competitive in, in race pace. Immediately we got a position there. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Yeah, the AI is terrible in, in traffic. Yeah, back in the day when this game was released, uh, there was basically no computers that could run this in, in <coughs> uh, full graphics in, with, with the Super VGA graphics. I, I played this with VGA graphics, a lower resolution, and then, you know, the resolution is same as it is in, in IndyCar Racing 1, which is just horrible. Just horrible. But at least the game ran pretty decently with that that setting. With with the higher resolution, I, I oh dear. Uh, even if I took all the details off, it still was a slideshow. And we're already fifth, so immediately when we hit lap traffic, everybody is in, in, in trouble. And now it's time to intimidate Dale a little bit. I think we had some incidents with Dale in, in Darlington. So we're not 
probably you know, we're very good terms with him. Oh, he's he's blocking. Come on, Dale. Bob Bang is out to get you. Oh dear, another caution. And here we are, B4. And I think we should pit now. We sh I think we should pit. I think everybody's going to pit now. Let's see. The tires are, are a little bit worn. Bit open, yeah, everybody is diving in. Here we are. Oh, bang will not be intimidated. Oh, did we have some damage? It's taking a quite long. Okay, careful with the speed limits. It was a very slow pit stop. Okay, here we go. Cold tires once again. Strategy-wise, I think we should pretty much mirror whatever the AI does, because we have a very competitive car here. We'll be quite fast, so no need, need to try to do anything different. If we have an incident and we fall fall back, then, then we'll probably have to think about some strategic moves, but hopefully we can avoid it. We dropped a few positions during the pit window, but that's all right. Dale managed to managed to do better. One lap onto the green, so that wasn't was not a long caution. Hmm. Uh, the important thing is we're still alive. It's good to be alive. Oh, it was Rusty Wallace who crashed. I didn't get to see him, to see who it was. Poor Rusty. Okay. Now, very careful once again with the gold tires. Irvin bouncing off the walls. Easy does it. It's very risky to make any moves with, with cold tires. So easy to lose the rear. So we'll just wait. Get the temperatures up and then we'll start racing again. This is NASCAR, this is like 95% endurance and strategy and then like 5% in the end tough racing Oops Steve with his gangbang stuff again <laughs> Yes, I'm looking at the chat Everyone went 
white. Oh dear. Also very important to be easy on the tires. You don't want to make too many pit stops because you because of eating eating up your tires. Chat is saying not to watch the chat. Yeah, less cautions is better. I think we can take good care of our tires. The car is very balanced and, and very nice to drive and it takes good care of the tires. On this track the, the rear tires wear out sooner than the front ones, at least with my setup. So once they turn red it's, it's time to pit. Bodine is making it hard for me to get past. When the AI is driving consistently and stays on the racing line, it's, it's pretty much impossible to pass unless if you do some sort of a crazy dive bomb. But they they usually when when they hit the traffic, they start making mistakes and also even by themselves they pretty regularly just wash wide in, in a corner so then you can get past you just have to wait now we hit uh, we're hitting traffic once again so oh dear that was close almost hit him Okay, there's Dale. Hi, Dale. It's very hard to pass Dale. White. There's our opening. Yoink! And V5 for Bob Bang. Oh, very hard on the brakes. V4. V3. Does it? Oh dear, almost lost it. And P1! Bob Bang is leading the race. Not anymore. Bodine has a terrible line. We've got a bad, bad exit, and there's the lead. So far, so good. But still has has to 
have to be very, very patient and, and careful with these crazy AI drivers. actually running away. Oops. Bodine well, is keeping up very well. I think uh, in, in Darlington we, we had an amazing race. That was I'd say that was some of the best racing I've done on this channel. It was a very the game performed very well on that that particular track. The, the race seemed very, very realistic and the AI was just amazing. But uh, on this track, the, the weaknesses of the game, unfortunately, become more apparent because of, of the traffic. And so it's, it's kind of... Kind of a shame that the AI is not able to navigate through the traffic quite as well. But yeah, it's it's a survival game from like the, the entire race is a survival game basically. Oh dear. of sliding. This is live, Roberts. This is live indeed. I used to do some of the like IndyCar Racing 1 races so that I recorded them and then had them on, on YouTube Premiere, but it, it, just, it wasn't the same. I, I love doing live races because then you have this kind of a feeling that it's an actual event. Burton currently second in the race. Oh man, what are you doing? Bouncing off the walls. Don't hit anyone. Yes, there's 425 laps left. 423, to be exact. There's a little delay in the chat, so... So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty long race. <laughs> And my neck is starting to hurt because for some reason I lean my head to, to the left constantly. Good thing that there hasn't been a lot of cautions, but if we'll have to beat during green, we might lose some positions because I, I cannot beat as quickly as the AI. They, they seem to do a better job at beating. Oh, 
pushed wide, I think the tires are starting to go a little bit. This track seems to be very hard on, on the tires. There were some AI drivers in the pits, I think. Okay, some traffic again. We have a seven second lead. And this one lap around here is something like 17 seconds or something. So. Might be a lap ahead of everyone pretty soon. Oh dear, sliding. I don't know how many pit stops there are going to be. It depends a lot on how much, how many cautions there are, because at this point you definitely should pit if if there's a caution, because the tires are starting to go. Even though we have plenty of fuel left, but Ponte has actually gained a little bit. It was 7 seconds behind. But now only 5.4. So far no drama. Pretty soon 100 laps done. 400 to go. Oh, it's very squarely. Oh, bang is dominating. At least for now. Oh, careful. Careful, don't hit anyone. Once again, a guy bouncing off the walls. Laps go really quickly here. Oh dear. It's starting to feel pretty bad. It's starting to feel very bad. Let's see. Right rear is really starting to go. I don't think I want to pit yet. Left rear also turns to yellow. I think it's when they go red, then there's danger of, ty uh, of, a, of a tire bl blowing up. Might have to pit under green this time. Yeah, 
Yeah, first race, PAT was was bad. Uh, what I did before the first race, I updated the game, and some things in the game changed quite a bit. I I, I patched the game to get rid of rid of some bugs, but then you know I wasn't really prepared for the updated game. But the second race in Darlington went a lot lot better. That was a very good race, and I finished fourth. I would have won it, but uh, probably, but I made a little mistake. I, I pitted too early. And, and some of the AI cars got a free pit stop against me because of a caution that happened. So I maybe lo lost the win because of strategy, but that's just part of the game. Obviously, here the AI is not not very good in, uh, because of, of, of this. Okay, I heard a noise. Somebody crashed. It's a caution. And we'll pit. Okay, there's something going on here. Okay, yoink. <laughs> Racing back to the line. <laughs> That's interesting. A huge pile up in the front straight away. There's the safety car, a uh, pace car, I mean, bit open, so we'll dive in. There we go, new set of tires. Let's see if we can hold on to our lead. Very slow pit stop again. Careful with the speed limits. Okay, we're still in the lead, which is good. Hope you boys are having fun. I don't uh, personally. I don't like dominating races. I, I like. I think racing is best in, in the mid pack. That's that's where I really want to be. But uh, this time, at least so far, we're dominating. I'm pretty sure something will happen sooner or later in, in, in this race, which will damage our race, but we'll try to survive as long as we can. We can. What, 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 what was I saying? Yeah, and also in the first race I didn't really set up the car proper, properly. I should have spent more time with the car set up. Here we go. Carefully. Cold tires again. As you can see, it's pretty damn slidey. Oh dear. Takes something like maybe five laps to get the tires up to temp, and then you can start pushing it. And once again I have to say uh, so sorry about the early time for this stream. It's like midday in Finland. It's uh, 1 o'clock p.m. 
so I know that for the folks that live west to Finland it's a little bit early to stream but I plan to go go out to do some skiing in the evening with my wife so I want to race now that I have the chance and then I can do other stuff after this Martin only 1.2 seconds behind and we're already <laughs> hitting lapped traffic are up to temp. Everything's good. But now we're hitting traffic again, so time to be a little bit scared. Also, it's, it's quite funny how there's not a lot of retirements in these races, it seems. There might be a lot of crashes, but a very small amount of, of retirements. I don't know how realistic that is. Okay, these, are, these guys are battling. It has me a little bit worried. Just stay low, and you'll be fine. Oh my god! Robin's racing! Robin's racing! Robin's racing! Sorry! That's... Oh, the base car. Ah... Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. Like, I was completely zoning out. Like, I was in a good rhythm and everything was working out very well. And... I don't think we're going to pit. There's no need for pitting yet. No. Fires are, are all almost new. Hmm. Well, it's too late now. If you don't pit immediately, you'll, you'll end up losing a lot of track position. I don't know if that was a mistake to stay out. Was it rusty again? <laughs> yeah, that was. That's what always happens with this game. I, I was completely zoning out, and you know, it's like driving on autopilot or something, and then suddenly, just out of the blue, something happens. And thankfully, I don't think we got any damage. Even if you get damage, it's, it's, it's not really that bad here, because the speeds are, are so low. And you don't really suffer if the aerodynamics get messed up.
it's good to have a caution here and then because then you get a little break and also you get a little break from the, the traffic one lap until green I don't think many of the AI drivers beat it. Okay, let's get ready. Once again, cold tires. Go, go, go. Slide it. I don't know, like, I'm not a NASCAR expert, but I think I, I remember GP Lab saying that this track is not very accurate compared to the real one. The banking is too steep or something. Oh, very slidey. Easy does it. <laughs> and immediately I can see traffic ahead. Such a tiny little track. Yeah, Darlington is way too wide in, in this game. And I, I think also Talladega is, is way off. I don't know about the other ones. I actually have the Pavel versions downloaded, and uh, as we'll race uh, two times in every every track during this season, I think I'm going to use the Pavel made tracks for the second half of the season, just for a change. Yeah, it's not laser scanned. <laughs> Oh, pushed white while looking at the chat. Don't look at the chat. I'm starting to feel hungry. Okay. Easy boys. Okay, let's start moving through traffic. We have a three second lead, so not not a lot it is certainly enough oh my god Constantly looking at the chat. Okay, easy. That's a good pass. Boydine is, is closing. He'll be stuck in the traffic as well. It's 
very easy to push wide in the exit of, of the final corner. And if you are beside someone there, uh, and, and get tapped just the right way, you'll fly, fly into the inside wall and that's like race over instantly. It happened to me when I practiced. So I'm being pretty cautious in the exit of the final corner. Six seconds behind, so really suffering from traffic. Constant traffic. Oh, that's an interesting move. Oh, that's Dale getting lapped. Having it. Oh, yes, he did. Bye, Dale. Another crash. Easy, easy, easy. All right. There we go. Another caution, and once again, it's time to pit. Closed, should be open. Bit open. There we go. Let's dive in. Here we are. Oh, a nice little break from the action once again. Quite a lot of cautions, but that was to be expected in this race. There we go. Uh, did Irvin pit? I don't think he pitted. Hmm, interesting, we dropped to second. 
That's it, really. We had a pretty good lead. It was surprising if, if Erwin actually pitted and managed to jump us in, in the pits. Like we had a six second lead or something. Oh well, whatever. We can probably get the lead back. One lap until the green. Luckily, these these cautions haven't been that long. Okay, here we go. Green flag. Oh. Is it there? Dale managed to unlap himself from us, but for long. Everybody's going wide. Easy, easy. Once again, cold tires. To be very conservative with the throttle. And we're back in the lead. Hooray! That didn't take long. Lighting. Traffic jam in front of us once again. 334 laps to go. And I'm already quite tired. And I feel dizzy. <laughs> Ouch. Hundred and twenty seven miles per hour, that was a very good lap. Bob Bang is flying. There we go. Easy does it. I don't remember if it was here, like, on this track, but I remember, I think it was here, where GP laps, when he did his NASCAR racing season, he was taken out by a lapsed car, which he had already passed, but then the, that lapped car just somehow 
dove straight into his rear end and it was crazy. He was leading the race and, and was winning it, but then that happened. So anything can happen in NASCAR and it usually does. No, I don't have a drink. No drink for Ted. Ted, you will have no drink. I'm actually quite thirsty. Beef jerky, it sounds good, except that like I've been eating way too much salt during the holidays. Like salted ham and salted fish. And during new, the New Year some cheese and all, all sorts of stuff. I think I've like gained 10 kilos of water into my body. Now it's January, it's time to start a new life once again and be healthy and exercise and eat salad and crap. That's why I'm going skiing. It would be a co cool to have a cigarette <laughs> while tr whilst driving. So far, so good. Still in the lead. We have a healthy lead. Now we're hitting some traffic again. Okay, easy. There we go. This guy is bo bouncing off the walls. Dear, very very squirrely. It's not very safe to, to slide when you're next to someone. of turning left here. Okay, somebody was in the pits. Heard a noise. Okay, he 
is coming out. Ouch. seem to get past this McDonald's car. Denied. Come on, let me go. Blue flag. Okay, this should be it. Finally. She's still there. And clear. I think I need a monkey for my co driver. No, I, th I think one monkey is enough. I'm talking about myself, of course. We have a 10 second lead, everybody. We are soon going to lap the entire field. Two hundred and ninety six laps to go. So the half may halfway mark is closing. Okay, this is stupid, this is stupid. Oh thank thankfully he gave us a little bit room there. are starting to go a little bit. Okay, and another caution. Once again, these guys are wrecking like there's no tomorrow. And it's a good timing because the tires were starting to go, so we'll pit once again.
Oh man. <laughs> it's a it's a long race. Only four cars in the lead lap at the moment. It should open. And it's open. So let's go. Hey, wait a what happened? Uh did I over to the fa face car? Oh shit, I think we might get a penalty. We might get a penalty for that. Oh dear, that's interesting. But we'll see. We'll see. Because, like, a stop and go penalty here is very deadly. You might even get lapped down, even if you do just stop and go. I don't think we got a penalty. Maybe, maybe they only, like, give the penalty when it's green. I, I'm not sure. I, I remember in one of my practice races I got a penalty. I accidentally passed the car when I went into the pits during a caution and then they gave me uh, a stop and go, but we'll, we'll see. Stewards are still reviewing. To be honest, this race would like need a little bit of drama. If you can call that drama. Let's see about uh, the standings. How many retirement? Only one retirement so far. So that's crazy. There's been a lot of crashes, but only one retirement. It's pretty crazy. One lap until green. Let's get ready. Ready to go. Here we go. Oh yeah, we got a penalty. Oh dear, I need to pit. Stop and go. Oh dear. Okay, go, go, go. There we go. Penalty served. Okay, let's rejoin carefully. Now we are fourth. Our car's behind. Easy, does it? We're 11 seconds behind now. There's the drama. What a stupid penalty. Try to get our lead back.
Luckily we didn't get lapped. That's a good thing. Oh, it's very... The rear is very, very lively. Okay, the tires are starting to heat up. Gaining on the leaders pretty quickly here. They are clearly in, in traffic. John, you missed uh, Bob Pan getting a stop and go penalty because he accidentally passed the pace car during during a caution. So now we are fourth. Yoink. Have to remember to be patient. We're not in a hurry here. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Uh, he says and tries to take a tree wide into turn one. Yeah, my goal is to someday go for NASCAR Racing 2 and NASCAR Racing 3. But I want to do this season first, and as I'm doing currently, like... What, maybe, maybe like, at this rate, five races a year? It'll take some time. But we, we, we are, we're not in a hurry. We have time. Unless if we die, then we don't have time, then, then, then we don't, then we're not sad about it because we're dead. Okay. Oh, that was a bit sketchy. Still P4, eight, almost nine seconds behind the leaders. So I really struggled in the traffic there. Yeah, it's uplif uplifting. You're, you're not sad if you're dead. <laughs> Go, go. Oh, a bit of a dive. But I was... I was there. I had... To, had the line. into there. Fifteen more laps and we're halfway through. <laughs> oh man, this is it's such a long race. We 
we're doing we're doing all right. We're doing all right. does it. Okay, easy boys. Oh, that was... That was close. Welcome back Taka Harvey, I would also need a siesta right now. I won't have time to have siesta, siesta today, unfortunately. It's been a fun holiday season for me, I've been spending time with my family and, and and stuff, and it's been hard, hard uh, fun, but it, it'll be a very rude Monday for me tomorrow, because, like, BAM! 8 o'clock in the morning, dentist. So, welcome back. From holidays. <laughs> Hello Texaco, welcome to the chat. Bob Bank, I'm currently uh, on, on P4. I, I have a feeling that I've called Bob Bank Friedrich Bank several times during the stream. Get, get, always get all confused with all the banks. in the pits. and 50 laps left so we're at the halfway point of the race hooray for that and we just okay another another caution once again oh sh that's it the race is over race over we're dead. We're dead, everybody. Just like that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. I mean, really. Oh man, that sucks. Uh, let's see the replay. Oh man, like there we go. Uh. 
Uh, I had absolutely no time to react. Absolutely no time. Nothing I could do. But that, but that really sucks. Let's see from here. That, like... <laughs> ah. Oh, that's a shame. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. Here's the thing that I don't like about Papyrus Sims. Uh, here's Wall Trip. Uh, because the AI doesn't obey the same laws of physics as the player. So they can just stop. Like, they, they can go from 200 miles an hour into 20 miles an hour in a fraction of, this, of a second. And if you're behind them at that point, you, there's absolutely nothing to, you can do. Like this. He basically, like, stops. Oh man, you suck. Ah. Rusty. No, I want my car. Oh man, that's a shame. That's a shame. I mean, a win here, and we would have been in the in the battle for the title, but no. Now ah, that's that's a real shame. I think we got some points. I mean, we led the race quite a bit, so you, I guess you get some points from that. I don't really know the the point system. Oh man. And it's just dead stop in a fraction of a second without like you know, I saw the car going off in front. Let's see what happened there. It's Marlin. Who lost the control? He is, he is the main reason for our retirement. And the other car bre broke. I, I guess he just broke because of this crash. Yeah, that's a real shame. It, that sucks. That <laughs> really sucks. Oh man. Well, that, that's how these races often go. Blanc. Yeah. That was a brake test of the century for sure. I just missed me. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? It was going so well. Oh, I went too far. There's Bob Bang. It was going so well. Okay, so five points for leading a lap and five more for leading most laps.
Yeah, we got some points, but not not enough. Yeah, let's resume. We can't get to the pit, so let's accelerate time then. And this will take a long time. Very long time, because the laps go very slowly. Yeah, that really sucked. Don't think there's a lot of retirements. Waltrip and Bank crashed and Burton and Marsis also retired. <coughs> Everyone gets points in US motorsports. We get 10 eights for watching, huh? <laughs> I think you you very well deserve some points for watching this race. Yeah, that's a shame. Bad luck. There's like 220 laps left. Luckily they seem to go pretty quickly. Steve, that's a real, commi uh, real commitment to, to wake up 5 a.m. to watch me play playing a, a 30 year old game <laughs> I have to admire I wish I had some music in the background because it's very quiet now but no maybe I should sing something or maybe not 200 laps to go Jeff Gordon leading the race Laponte, Burton, Bodine, and Gant, the top five. Rusty Wallace still, still in the race, even though he, he crashed like three times. Escape from to, from today's real, reality, that's uh, true, and we, we all all, all definitely need some of that. Oh, Dale retired as well. Mechanical failure. Yeah, that's a big blow for our, our championship dreams, because I, I thought that, like, winning this race, then Bob Bang would definitely be in, in the battle for the for the title, but, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a really, really big, big blow for those dreams. Would be great to win a championship on, on one of my hardcore seasons, it would be very cool. Jeff Bodine, pitting. Ernie Irvin takes the lead. We have been streaming for one hour and forty minutes, so I, I guess we should we should do something after this race is over to like fake the stream to be longer than it is, so that people who watch this afterwards don't get spoiled. And it was a retirement. Bristol, like racing with rubber duckies in a bathtub. <laughs> That's appropriate. Unfortunately, the race is over for Bob Bang. That's that's sad. I wish the accelerated time would be a little bit longer. 
I think we're we're going to continue the stream by practicing for the next race. So, uh, try to set up the car a little bit and, and see how, how that goes. But we still have a hundred laps of this left. Oh dear. <clears throat> Hello Marco, well, welcome to the chat. Unfortunately the race is over already for Bob Bang. We had a huge crash right at the halfway point of the race. Which was very sad. We were, I think, were we leading the race? No, we were a third, maybe. It's a caution. It's an accident. Who retired? Hot Strickland retired. Rusty Wallace went out in fire. And it's green flag again. Jeff Gordon is currently made his way up to second in the race. Seventy laps to go. And another caution. A lot of cautions in this one. And we have 60 laps left. Man, this is a long race. Even with the accelerated time. Hope you guys were entertained by the race. It was fun for me, fun for me at least, and 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 that little penalty was very interesting. Oh, Jeff Gordon retires. He's had an engine failure. So that's that's a thing. And another caution. <clears throat> Jeff Bodine leading the race. 30 laps to go and it's green flag again. I remember back in the 90s when I played this game, I always went to drive in Talladega because it was the fastest, uh, fastest track. Only appreciated pure speed back then. Nowadays I like a little bit, I li like things a little bit more slow, a little bit slower. And we have 10 laps to go, a very tough battle for the win between Joe Nemechek and Jeff Bodine. Seems that Jeff Bodine is... Well, Nemechek is closing up. He's dropping behind. He's closing up. Closing up. Closing up! And uh, Joe Nemechek wins it on the final lap. Ah, <laughs> that's mad. Yeah, there we go. 
Bodain led for 115 laps. How many laps did we lead? One hundred and forty eight. So that's most led laps, I think. So that should be five more points for us. Yeah. All right. And that's our, our disappointing crew. That was that was a shame. That was a shame. Now we'll just exit as we do. And yeah, Friedrich Bang 31st retired. We got 80 points from this race. That's not a lot. We are currently 18th in in the in the championship. That could be a lot better, but unfortunately no. Bobby Hamilton leading the championship to uh, Bodine very close behind, only four points behind. And yeah, there we go. Uh, let's, yeah, it's Martin's will next. Let's go to Martin's will. This is a very tight little track. Let's start up with the A setup. We'll practice a little bit. And um, we'll see what we need to do to the car. Okay. Um, that that's a very very tight pit lane. Okay, and immediately I need to change the wheel lock to 30 degrees. There we go. Done. Done. Resume. This should be interesting. We'll, we'll see what the tires do. should like change gears here I do love the variety of, of the tracks in NASCAR because they are so different from each other Seems that the car is pretty slow. It's going to be an interesting race. The tires don't seem to overheat here. Oh 
Okay, sorry. Uh, let's see here. P13, so that's actually not too bad. P14 currently. Let's go to the garage and uh, let's save this setup. Bang. Let's see what we should do here. First of all, spoilers. This is as slow as it can be. Rear spoiler. This is as high as it can be. That's, I think, good. Um, tires. Maybe... Let's hear. Let's see here. Left bias. That's at max. Rear bias. I don't remember what to do with this anymore. I, I figured it out, but I have forgotten. Like, rear, more rear weight means what exactly? Cross weight. I think I'll lower this to 50. And um, hmm. maybe a little bit of a softer s shock setup. Maybe like 80% here. Let's see what that does. Resume. Apparently you have to reverse a little bit to get out of the pits. I think it feels better, but we'll have to get the tires up to them before I can say anything for sure. Yeah, PTF! Bob Bang retired! We're practicing for the next race, just to make the stream look a little bit longer, so that people who watch this afterwards don't immediately know that, oh, he retired. Absolutely nothing I could do. Well, that was the fastest lap. Good night, Ron. somewhat faster than... Oops, almost blew the engine. Right rear is 
Well, it's not overheating. I think it's fine. Let's see, we're 11th currently. So not quite where I want to be yet. So I have to probably adjust my driving style a little bit for this one. Oh, that was a better lap. B10. Yeah, I, I, I will have to adjust my driving style for this track as well. I'm sure I will be faster once I'll learn how to... which is the fastest way to go around. Three wide. Oh, I didn't stick. Someone just crashed. Try to get a good lap, good clean lap, and uh, that's, uh, let's see about the tires. Yeah, they are overheating a little bit. On the right side, nothing too serious, but a little bit. Yeah, I didn't really have any time to react when I got brake tested in the race. As I said, the, the AI, they don't need to obey the same rules of physics as a human player. So if they decided to stop, there's absolutely no way you can avoid hitting them if you're behind them. But yeah, shit happens. was a good lap, P6, but I'm a little bit worried about the tire still. Uh, what should I do? Maybe add just a little bit of air. Just a little bit and um, Stagger, I don't think I'm going to that, touch that. Would this help? Like... Do that. We'll see what that does. As I said, I'll, I'll put the setups in, in the on, on my website, and I'll put the, the, uh, a link into the description. So if you want to want to try the, this out, you can. I can already tell that in the race this will be very, very bad with, with cold tires because the AI doesn't really need to 
worry about cold tires. But for me, it's it's very slow. See about the tires. Are a little bit too cold now. I'm not getting good laps anymore. But uh, yeah, I'll change the setup a little bit. I will a uh, little bit less pressure, one click, and then suspension we will. do this. Let's actually save the setup while we're here. Save. Bang. Yes. Done. Okay. We'll see what that did. Tires are, are definitely the biggest factor in in this game you have to have the, the temperature right otherwise we are screwed Good lap with cold tires. But it's still very, very slidey, obviously, cold tires, but. to get the power down. Is this also like 500 laps? Tire temperatures are, are pretty good. I might lower the temps on the insides, draw tires a little bit the left side. Five hundred laps, Jesus Christ! <laughs> it'll be it'll be incredibly long. I'm kind of happy with the tires, I think. But 
uh, let's see here. What else? What else? Um, tires. Left side. I will drop the pressure by three psi, and we'll see what that does. Actually, with this one, I might do even more. Five. Okay. Let's see what that does. And I think I have to also deal with the oversteer in the exit as well. Tidy. Okay, that was a freaking awesome lap, actually. And that's the fastest lap of the practice, so I think this... This was pretty good. In the race you can save fuel by keeping it... Oops. In fourth. We'll have to... We'll have to see. I... Uh, I'm guessing that the tires will go quicker than fuel here, so that probably might dictate our our pit strategy. Yeah, tires seem pretty good now. The car is a little bit oversteer on exit. But uh, other than that, I'm pretty happy with the setup. I will save that, but I will try to do something about the oversteer stuff. Uh, suspension, weight check, uh, rear bias. I don't remember which way this works, so I will just like take it to 40 percent, and we will see, or for or 45, and we will see what that does. And uh, what did that do? Did it do anything? I would guess that it makes the if if you reduce the rear bias it make the car more oversteery but uh, it's pretty pretty oversteery
almost fun. It's also easy to blow your t uh, engine in, in this race because you have to change gears. NASCAR racing has got random events for the AI drivers but not for a human driver. So if your engine overheats, it might blow up, but then that's pretty much your fault because you, you have the gearing set up wrong or, or you mess up your shifts. Sorry. Yeah, the car doesn't feel as good. Let's do the other way around. With this one rear bias, let's Max it out, and we'll see what that does. Yeah, it's 30 frames per second. Okay, so now it's way, way more loose. So more rear weight may makes it looser. Yeah, so that's not good. I think I'm happy what we uh, what we we've, we've got here. Let's do a. Okay, the game just crashed. Okay, this is a great uh, opportunity for us to end end the season. Interesting stuff. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, let's end the stream here. Yeah, you need some loosiness at the beginning of the race. Yeah, it's it's true, and when one the tires heat up, it, it'll be a lot better. But yeah, the game crashed. Uh, let's hope, let's see here. Let's restart it. Uh, let's hope our season is saved. Wait. Yeah. Our our season is is saved, so that that's that's good. I'll I'll make some backups after I, I, I end the stream. But thanks anyways guys for watching. Sorry that the race ended ended um so early because of the crash. Uh and uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to lie down a little bit here cure my little hangover and then I'll I'm off to have a have, uh, do, do a little bit of cross country skiing as it is winter here in Finland and and like I've I've finally learned how to like enjoy skiing which I hated for a long time in my youth but yeah shit happens in racing sometimes and and this time it certainly did uh, anyways, I will I will see you in the next uh, race. I I have a I have an idea for a video that I want to want to make. Uh, so I will start working on that, and it will involve some skiing. Believe it or not, maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. I I don't know how to make it happen. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll see you see you then. And I think I'll I'll do as as for racing. I'll do Grand Prix Tree next. In, in Monza, the Temple of Speed. Anyway, th thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.